Always use star code Aquila when buying Robux or Premium. Ooh, These are all of my social media accounts. Try, know that it's time Enjoy the video! Hi everyone, it's Aquila. Welcome or welcome back to my channel. And this video is going to be part 2 of my Build With Me series. And if you missed part one, it'll be linked in the eye in the corner, so make sure you go and check it out. I started building an ice cream slash milkshake shop with a little apartment on top, and in this video, I'm gonna be giving you the full tour. Now, I know this video originally was supposed to be me decorating this entire build with you, but hear me out. It's currently 10 p.m. while I'm filming this, on Friday and I upload every Monday, Wednesday, and Saturday. So this video is gonna go up on Saturday when you're watching this, unless you're watching this on another day. Wow, this is getting really confusing. But basically, I just didn't wanna have a lot of footage to edit because I didn't wanna have to stress out in the morning and I wanted to get everything done tonight. I started decorating this three hours ago and that's just way too much footage. I was getting distracted and I'm really tired. So I hope you guys understand. I feel like most people would skip over the speed build portion anyway. And after all, I did call this series a build with me series, not a decorate with me series. You need to leave. Anyways, with all that being said, let's get started with the tour so this is the front of the shop and we called it milk and sugar out front we have the owner's car some trees and flowers and a little walkway to the front door I realized that I still had a few decorations from Valentine's Day, so I decided to put the hard inflatable in front of the shop because I felt like it really fit the vibe. On the right side, we have a raised platform with the menu outside so you could take a look at it before you come in. Then we have three stools, a brown one, a white one, and a pink one. And they're right in front of this open window that I just added. It was not in the previous part, but I was getting a lot of ideas from Pinterest and I saw something like this. So I thought I would incorporate it into my build. And we also have this Valentine's Day bear. And what I really like about this part is that when it's closing time, we can go ahead and just pull this down. And that's pretty much everything out here, so let's go inside. So when you first walk in, this is what you see. To the right of us, we have the seating area and also the way to get to the restroom. And then to the left of us, this is the employee kitchen. There's also another menu in a bigger size. And on the tables, we have a heart balloon, some pink roses, a picture of the sign, a candle, and some napkins. The same table was duplicated over here. And on every chair, I added some heart garland. This part of the build is really cute and I was definitely looking forward to this. So I mentioned in the previous video that I wanted a space where it was kind of like an Instagram wall. So you can come over here and take pictures. And I saw this on Pinterest too. So it's an ice cream sandwich chair. And I'm really proud of it. And then we also have another poster with the shop name. So hopefully people will come and visit. And yes, it's completely functional. And there's two seats next to me. So you can even take some pictures with your friends. Now let's head over to the kitchen because this is a very important part. There's a gate for easy access. Then we have two cash registers and some to-go bags. I added some books for decoration. There's a phone so we can take orders, extra heart balloons, and some cleaning supplies. Behind the wall, we can see a smaller version of the menu just in case the employees need a little reminder. And there's also some display racks. Here at Milk and Sugar, we like to stay clean and organized. So we have two sinks and two stations. The stations are the exact same on both sides. We have the ice cream maker, a blender, for the smoothies, there's some ingredients, and then next to the sink, there's paper towels and some soap. And this is the employee freezer. There's a big commercial fridge, and then we have another display rack. And surrounding those two things, there's a bunch of crates, and these are filled with our fresh products. Need to go to the restroom? 
No problem. Here we have gender neutral restrooms. There's four sinks even though there's only three stalls because I wanted it to be even, but I thought having some heart mirrors would be a really cute touch. And here's what the bathroom stalls look like. Of course, there's a toilet, toilet paper, a trash can, and some hooks to hang up your coat or your bag. And yes, I know these are technically toilet paper dispensers, but I really think that they look like the paper towel dispensers that you see in public restrooms. So I decided to use it as that. And that's everything for the shop portion. But then over here, we have this sign that says keep out. But I own this place, so it's fine. And here we have the hallway that leads to the staircase that goes upstairs to the apartment. And if you come back here without permission, smile because you're on camera. I really wasn't sure what to do over here, but it is just a hallway. So I have this shelf and then there's some books, vases, there's a clock on the wall, and we also have the light and a power box just so the customers don't mess with it and here we have the staircase but underneath we have a cozy chair an ottoman and another lamp now we can head upstairs and see the apartment this area is pretty much the exact same i kind of just flipped it around a bit you're greeted into the apartment with a welcome mat but we also have a doorbell and an umbrella stand just in case it's raining and you need somewhere to put your umbrella. So here's the front door and to the left of you when you walk in, there's a mirror so you can check yourself, see how you look before you go or when you get back home. We have a shelf with some storage bins and some string lights and then there's a coat rack. The kitchen is honestly pretty small, but I think I made it work for the space that we had. And I actually think it's kind of cute. But before we go into the kitchen, you can see that we have a small dining area for three. There's more napkins, a fruit bowl, and another candle. Of course, every kitchen needs a refrigerator, so we have one of those. Then we have the stove and the oven, some pots and pans above that. And then for this section, we have the sink and there's the microwave underneath the counter just because of the minimal space we have. There's knives, seasoning, a toaster, a coffee maker, a plant, some soap and paper towels. And there's also a towel above the sink. And just for some more storage, we have some cabinets. This is the living room area and this wasn't quite big enough for me to fit a couch so i tried to make it work with two sofa chairs it's pretty self-explanatory there's a tv a remote another ottoman and a very small fireplace and that's it for this open concept area so we're gonna go through the door on our right. This is meant to be a kid or teen bedroom. It's extremely small, so I thought adding the shelf to hold a few items was a smart idea. Now we can go into this room over here. This bedroom is a bit bigger than the other one that we just saw, and there's also a closet. I did the same thing with the shelf, and I kind of just organized it differently and then we also had room for a desk and a computer there's another painting and an ironing board and if you're wondering what the closet looks like here it is the final room in the apartment is the restroom i was also trying to utilize this space as much as i could it's the same size as the kids bedroom by the way but i decided to add the stacked washer and dryer because there wasn't enough space to add the side by side ones then of course we have the sink and there's a laundry hamper um and there's toothbrushes a mirror and some soap opposite of that of course we have the toilet some towels and a shower and that's the whole apartment if you're wondering what's behind this door this just leads to a super long alleyway and Around this corner, there's absolutely nothing, but over here we have two dumpsters. And then if we go through this gate, it leads us right back to the front, and there's also a mailbox area. Okay, everyone, well, that is going to be it for this video. I really hope you enjoyed watching. Make sure to let me know what your favorite part of this build is, and do not forget to leave a big thumbs up and subscribe to my channel down below. Once you are subscribed, click the bell button so you get notified whenever I post a video. And with that being said, I'll see you guys next time. Bye! You, you've been high.
hiding in the shadows way too long You always thought that you were weak, but babe, you're wrong